Hi, boys and girls. This is our English for Wednesday. We're going to continue our use with commas so we know when to use a comma in a sentence. Um, today, we're going to be putting commas with the names of places. Okay, so let me fix my... Um, sorry, I know that's a close-up. <laughs> okay, so let's look at my paper first. Almost saw my ceiling. Oh, you are seeing my ceiling. There we go. Okay, commas with the names of places. Put a comma between a city and a state. Or a city and a country. Okay. Here in America, we have lots of states. We have the 50 states. So we always put a city and a state together. In other places, they don't have states. So it's a city and a country. Okay, so Loveland, Colorado. We put a comma between the city, Loveland, and Colorado. The Louvre Art Museum is in Paris, France. Paris is a city in the country of France. So we put a comma there. The oldest government building in the U.S. is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe is the name of a city. New Mexico is a state. Have you ever eaten shrimps and grits in Charleston, South Carolina? Charleston is a city in South Carolina. We put a comma between Charleston and South Carolina. There are many harbors filled with boats in Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland is a city in the country of New Zealand, okay? Do not put a comma if only a city or only a state or a country is listed. There are over 150 parks and playgrounds in Cleveland. There's just a city there, so no comma. The French were the first European settlers of Detroit. Again, it's just a city there, no comma. Creek Indians settled in Tulsa in the 1830s. Tulsa, there's just a city there, um, no comma, okay? So no comma if only a city, state, or country is listed. You only do that when you have a city and a state together or a city and a country together. Now you're gonna go to IXL Language Arts, UU3, okay? And again, you have to drag the comma there. Okay, have a great day.